Okay, uh, we are uh, still working on that problem set of solving limits analytically that uh, you can uh, get that problem set if you go to uh, mathcoverage.com for free. If you want to see this stuff worked out and you can print it off on your printer, um, just uh, you're going to pay a real small, small fee and, uh, and download that stuff. Okay, and so we have a number 23 here, the limit as x approaches 16 of 4 minus the square root of x over x minus 16. Now, if I plug 16 in the bottom, um, we're dealing with 0 in the uh, denominator, and that's not good. And so what we need to do is manipulate this thing in such a manner that uh, we can avoid that and end up rewriting this limit. And we are going to multiply the top by 4 plus the square root of x. Now, if you've seen some problems earlier in this problem set, we had to uh, do the same thing. So I'm going to write 4 plus the square root of x down here in the bottom also. Because you see, 4 plus square root of x over the 4 plus square root of x is just 1. Okay, so when we uh, foil the top out, we end up getting, I'm going to scroll the screen over here, All right. by rewriting the limit, x goes to 16, so we multiply the top out, right, 4 times 4 is 16, and 4 times positive square root of x and then a negative square root of x times 4 so you see you have a 4 times square root of x and a minus 4 square root of x they're going to cancel out and so really we're just concerned about the last terms here the negative square root of x times the square root of x becomes just negative x we'll say minus x and the bottom part, we uh, just uh, I'm just going to rewrite. All right, so scrolling over. So we have x minus 16 times 4 plus the square root of x. Now you see we have a 16 minus x in the top and an x minus 16. And what we're going to do is factor out a negative out of the top. So we have something in the, in the bottom that looks just like it. So if I pull a negative out of here, all right, so this is just a little trick that you learn. All right, and it's all over x minus 16. We're writing 4 plus the square root of x. So now we, we have the top, which can be actually rewritten as x minus 16, and we have an x minus 16 in the bottom. So as you can see, those cancel out, but we're still left with this negative up here in the top. So rewriting again, I have the limit x approaches 16. So I'm going to cancel this out and this out in the bottom so we're left with negative 1 over 4 plus the square root of x. Now what we can do is do our direct substitution now by taking the 16 and plugging it directly into the square root of x. And right, so the square root of 16 Oh, I'll just write it out, I guess. So we have 4 plus the square root of 16. Now we simplify this down to negative 1 over 4 plus 4, which becomes finally negative 1 eighth. Okay, so that's our answer, negative 1 eighth. All right, moving on here. Now this was not so nice. This is not a nice problem. And if your teacher was being mean, 
she'd probably put this one on the test. So if I plug 2 directly uh, in the bottom, I get 0. So we need to factor the top out. And you're going to have to do this by either using synthetic division or long division. In other words, you're going to divide x minus 2 into this stuff. Now, I'm not going to work this entire thing out. I'm just going to set it up for you. And I'm going to wave my hands and say this is it. All right, try to save some time here. So you, you set this up as x minus 2, dividing it into x to the fifth minus 32. But remember, when doing division, we have to put in some placeholders here, like 0x to the fourth plus 0x to the third, plus 0x squared, plus 0x, oh my gosh, and then minus 32, all right, and uh, trying to be neat here, it's not exactly being neat, I'm writing on these pads, and so we say x goes into x to the fifth, right, x to the fourth time, or four times, and then what we do is we go back and we multiply x to the fourth times this, and we rewrite. So we say x to the fifth. Right? And then multiply x to the fourth times right, the minus 2 here, and that becomes negative 2x to the fourth. And then like all division, we take their difference now. And so x to the fifth minus x to the fifth is zero. And when I take the difference, I'm distributing this minus sign across. So that ends up making this a plus, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to write add these together, add these together, and so you have two x to the fourth. And then we start the process over again. So x goes into two x to the fourth. So we're left with plus 2x to the third. All right. And so what you're going to want to do, like I said, I'm going to wave my hands on this and uh, not finish it, but you're going to continue in this process. All right, multiplying 2x cubed times this, so we end up with 2x to the fourth, and then 2x cubed, right, and then we have minus... 4x to the third, and then we take the difference again, make that a plus, add this stuff. Right. 4x cubed, and then we continue it again. Okay, so I waved my hands. I'm done with that. I'm just going to fill in what's supposed to be up here in the top and let you work on that. So this should be 2x cubed, and then uh, plus... 4x squared right, plus 8x and then plus 16. Okay. And uh, so I'm going to have to continue on down here. Let's see what we got. All right, so I'm going to rewrite this limit as x approaches 2. Okay. And so we factored out x minus 2 out of the top, or yeah, out of this thing. And so remember, we were left with x to the fourth plus 2x to the third plus 8x plus 16. And we had an x minus 2 in the bottom. So as you see, we have an x minus 2 at the top, 1 in the bottom. They cancel out. We rewrite the limit, and then we just do direct substitution. Right. So we're left with x to the 4th plus 2x cubed plus 8x plus 16. And then you're going to have to substitute the 2 into this. Right. So 2 to the 4th. 2 times 2 to the 3rd, plus 8 times 2, plus 16, and your final answer should be 80.